1480 News Now, leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. From the 1480 Newsroom, I'm Mike Daniels. The Kosciuszko Community YMCA announces another Togetherhood project for its members and the community to get involved that will serve the local homeless shelter, Fellowship Missions. This project will partner with Fellowship Missions to cook and serve a dinner and a breakfast at the shelter. The Y is looking for several volunteers to cover shifts on July 20th and 25th. YMCA members and other community members are invited to sign up at the YMCA Welcome Center. If you have any questions about serving through the Togetherhood program, please contact Summer Zimmer at 574-269-9622. With warmer temperatures forecasted for later this week, authorities are reminding parents about the dangers of leaving children unattended in a vehicle. There have been eight such heat stroke deaths in the U.S. already this year. Janet Fennell with KidsAndCars.org suggests always looking before you lock or leaving an important item such as a cell phone or handbag in the back seat so you have to open the back door to retrieve it every time you park. On average, nearly 40 children die each year from heat-related deaths after being trapped inside motor vehicles. Your weather is coming up in 15 seconds. Get the vehicle you want at The Car Company in Warsaw. You'll find more makes, models, colors, and styles of high-quality pre-owned cars, trucks, vans, and SUVs at half the price of new. And now your new full-line Suzuki dealership for motorcycles, ATVs, and scooters. The Car Company on US 30 East in Warsaw. Looking at your Storm Team 16 weather forecast, tonight we can expect some clouds and a low of 58. Tomorrow we'll see a high of 78 and mostly sunny skies. And Saturday, temperatures will rise back into the 80s, bringing possible afternoon showers. OrthoWorks Executive Director Brad Bishop has been elected to the board of the Northeast Indiana Regional Development Authority, recently formed to compete for state funding for major regional projects. Bishop was elected during a June 24th caucus meeting of mayors and county commissioners of the 16 towns and 11 counties in the NIRDA. Bishop said the goal is for the member cities and counties to come together and pick the projects that provide the greatest benefit to the region in terms of attracting people and improving quality of life. He listed the expansion and development underway for the Wagon Wheel Center for the Arts as an example of such projects. From the newsroom, I'm Mike Daniels. Have a great day.